one of many iguanas responsible for devastating the areas out here in Puerto Rico. You guys can see we're doing the iguana removal jobs for residents. We're helping them out. These iguanas are taking over their trees, messing up their property, eating their food, and just being a straight nuisance. I think we're on enough. Dude, I got this one from 24 inches. Bro, these things are huge. And they're shells, so, you know, they used to be alive. Manny. Once upon a time. You finally got crabs. <laughs> See, there's iguanas on the hill. Like, this is a great spot for iguanas to come out here and bask. But also, like, dig holes and potentially nest. There's a nesting area. There's a nesting area? See where the roots come out? There's usually a caiman nosed up there. Waiting on the stray dogs to come down and get a drink. I blame you, sir. Same thing across on me. Oh, you see one? Same place. Moving, 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 moving. Oh my god. That's a giant. Let me know. On me. He's moving. Oh no, right there, right there. Come here, come here, come here. Right, right there. He's running. Look, look straight to the to the right, to the right. Okay, 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 okay. Air guns, thank you so much for sending us this. We've got the FX Pantera compact. That's massive. Look at the size of that tail right there. No, look at the thick one. Nice work, Roddy. We're getting them tired. We're getting them tired. Iguanas, they're magically. Hold up to our other job right now. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's your friend Raj the Iguana Man. I'm back at you guys with another video. Uh, as you guys can see, we are still out here in beautiful Puerto Rico doing some iguana removal for work. A couple of buddy of mine have a lot of jobs lined up. They invited me out. There's an iguana swimming right there in the river. And guys, we are at our job for the day. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. Hey, there's an iguana right there, man. Where's he going? Oh, he's going inside the bank. Anyways, guys, you guys probably remember some of my friends from the last video. Oh, shoot. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Okay, it's not moving. Whip left, whipping. Oh, he's whipping. She's yeah. behind the brush. He gone. Up there. Is he gone? Okay, I see him. Up there. He's, I see him. You see him too. <laughs> and that's how we like to start off the day, man. If you guys don't remember, uh, some of my friends that were in the last video, just refresh your memory. We have the one and only Jose. What's up, boy? What's up, uh, everyone, a man? Long time no see. It's it's been about, a, about there. It's been about two years, but so I just had to come down here see if I can help you guys. Out. Tell me a little bit about what's going on today, man. What are we gonna be doing? Well, we're basically running around here, taking care of the pests, and some some of the neighbors they they actually enjoy that we take care of the problem. Landowners happy. I'm happy. And the contractor's happy. So everybody's happy, man. Excellent. And we're happy to be here, Everybody man. happy. Nobody <laughs> angry. Nobody angry. You guys don't remember. We also have this gentleman right here. Cool, we, we have Izzy from Donnie FL. What is going on, partner? What's up? What are you expecting at this job today, man? Iguanas. Iguanas? And more iguanas and more. He's, he's also been contracted to be out here, guys. He's made the journey out here. He's going to be testing out a couple of things. He's helping with the iguana removal. He's right here. Well, you guys remember our friend the Swamp Fox, aka Wally. What's going on? What man? up? What's up, dude? Not, did you see the little one on the bank up here? Huh? Okay, this is a canal system that was designed to control the floodwaters and irrigation waters for the sugarcane fields. And it's basically almost public land, and a lot of people use it for fishing, hunting, grazing horses, horseback riding. Um, one of the farmers that farms the hay out there 
does quite a bit of duck hunting here. In the back. Awesome. You got the tank? Uh, you, you got it out? Coca-Cola! Because it's hot today. We're gonna get ready. I think they got the tanks. It is pretty. It is pretty hot today, bro. Yeah. It's not like it was yesterday. Yesterday was completely different. Here on the island, guys, things are ever changing. But so joining me on the video today is Manny. You know, what? You know the logo? You know what this is? Uh, what is that? No. It's actually a propeller from a plane from World War II. Really? Never knew that. Never knew that. Good to know. Hey, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This is one of the sickest vehicles I've ever seen. But it's like a Jeep slash Range Rover. It's an off-road king, guys. Four by four. Extremely heavy duty frame transmission and motor and boy oh boy it's so it's so comfortable driving you got these big fat tires right here it's a lot of space carry all our stuff and of course we have this roof rack right here if we get stuck in the mud we're just gonna hop in here i guess you lock the wheels switch it switch it in four by four and we'll be able to get out I'm out there and, and, and put 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 exactly put exactly all right guys we're gonna go ahead and get briefed up we'll see you guys out there at the job got him. you got him yeah nice should be two dead ones over there on that side now. yeah 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 so is he i think i think we got to cross this right here yep that's how we're gonna get to the job oh yeah i already took a couple of them over there on this side yep yeah, for all those wondering guys this is a brackish uh canal waterway this is like half fresh half salt water i see some needlefish like peeking on the top and um yeah there potentially could also be some caiman in here which are also invasive so if we see them uh, we might be able to take them out but let's go see what these guys are doing Something that can stop the shot. And it seems like this is a great spot for iguanas to come out here and bask. But also like dig All holes. females. This is a nesting area. This is a nesting area? Yep. See guys? Nesting area. See now you can see the size and most of these are all gonna be females. Like this tree and the opposite side also. The females seem to be considerably smaller than the males. Oh yeah, considerably so small. small. I feel like I'm hunting in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that there are some bigger iguanas out here, bro. You know, yeah, these are nice. There are some big ones out here. But you can go to the, to the real hunting grounds. All right, my you friend. Really got a round of let me hold this. Let me hold this. You need your your strength to shoot. You guys, this is an eradication pest dude, control project. I got project. this one from 24 inches, dude. <laughs> Shoot, 24 inches. <laughs> Izzy is the in-house technical shooter. Shooting at extreme. Yeah, bro. Female iguanas are good, but there's gotta be some big males, especially if they're out here uh, hanging out with these females. The big males are probably out in the trees looking at us. We've got boas, like boa constrictors, and Puerto Rican boas here. What? Yeah, no venomous snakes. Um, there's like four native species and several invasive. 
um, bow constrictors, and the reticulated pythons. Those trans we're we're in their territory right now, right? Yeah. Well, they started off around Naranjito, and now they've bled down this way into Barceloneta. Most of the ones that have been getting caught lately have been right in Barceloneta. So it'll be right up inside this hibiscus, huh? Yeah. They love hibiscus. Oh, yeah. You ever use hibiscus for uh, bait? Yeah, yeah. Like the yeah. essential oils? Yeah. Yeah, you can put that stuff on a red balloon and they come in from uh, forever, for miles around, it seems like. Shout out to Jeff M. He's hanging on the tree. For letting us know about the hibiscus. Yeah, he, he puts oils on fake, like the fake flowers. Yeah, yeah. So it's been working pretty good. Not that bad. I heard something drop. I heard yeah, hit water. Whoa, the giant one. He came across the road. He's in the canal now. Okay. See the dirt? Yeah. Up there where it skinnies down? I looked up and he went that way. He was at least five. You can kind of hang on. All right, guys. These guys are going in the grass. Got him. Got him. Come on. Sorry. Where, where is he? Is he across? Yeah. Oh, he's massive. He's white. He's upside down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great shot, dude. We'll go over there and get him. I'm here chilling down, getting all, all comfortable, looking for a headshot. The Mr. Star over here. I couldn't see him from here. Uh, <laughs> you don't want to drop down that ditch. <laughs> no. No, yeah. Cross on me. Oh, you see one? Same place. Moving, 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 moving. Oh, my God. That's a giant. Let me know. On me. He's moving. Shit. I'm it is. Oh, he's in there. I don't see him. It's a big tyrant, dude. Can you see the head? I don't know. Tail. Let me see. Oh. Easy got, got him. The one inside of the bush? Izzy probably had a better angle on him. Oh, well, that's a lot of bush. Yeah. A lot of bush. But I heard a lot of impact, so I think he got him. I believe so. Oh no no right there right there come here come here come here right there. right there he's running look look straight to the to the right to the right okay 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 super smart dude he's probably hanging out right in the air force safe in the crevice safe, you said in, yeah on the crevices so smart Super smart. They'll come out here, guys, graze on these flowers, eat some grass. And once they're full of energy, guys, they are just on the move. On the move. Oh, there y'all just gonna get them? Come on. They're just going for it anyways. I got the cloud. Ah, hello. Got we got him. Flipped him. him up. Dismounted him. Work him up. Nice. Let's see if he's right here. Yeah, he's in there somewhere, guys. These trees are full of thorns. We're going to have to pass. Now, that big one, the real big one. Hit right here. He's probably holding bottom, but he's gonna come up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Keep your eyes peeled for him because he's the biggest one you've seen today. Is the one on the rock dead? Yeah, I already got him. Okay. So with the removal as well, you guys do guides out here. If anybody wants to come to Puerto Rico, you don't even need a passport. No, all you need is uh, ID. You can fly, you can get here. Um, so you need a real ID. Some states have IDs that you 
can't fly with unless you get a specific real ID. Um, we do guiding and we do full packages. And experience this firsthand, right? Yeah, we'll provide you with a full-time guide, airport pickup and drop-off, transportation and accommodations. So you're saying there could be cannon in here, huh? Yeah. Um, you see a lot of them at night shining. During the day, you get youngsters, um, two to four foot, free swimming and patrolling the banks, looking for dogs, looking for anything they can eat. Dogs? Iguana. Oh, they love dogs, man. In Cayman, some people aren't familiar with Cayman. Cayman is a member of the alligator family. They're a crocodilian, and these are the spectacled Cayman. Uh, we can hunt and harvest them, right? Yes, they're an invasive. So that might be something we might be doing here in a little bit, guys. But right now, we got to finish this job. Uh, Manny, <laughs> you're out countryside, bro. We're not in the city or the suburbs no more, bro. You out here with me, bro. Oh, you already know, man. I love it. Love every little thing from the tall grass to poopy grounds. It's awesome. Ooh, go. Here's the mail running. See him? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. He's out. He's a wee. Got him. He's gone. See where the roots come out? Yeah. That tree right there. Trail coming down. There's usually a caiman nosed up there waiting on the stray dogs to come down and get a drink. Really? Yeah. That's smart. I see a crab hanging out in the hole right there. But yeah, so the caiman are out here trying to hunt these crabs. And if they can, guys, they will try to definitely get a dog. Uh, they'll eat iguanas too. It's oh, yeah. Yeah. They love, they love iguanas. We can come out tonight with lights and do some uh, shining for Cayman. That sounds cool, man. We should definitely give it a shot. Speaking of iguanas, though, I think we gotta go recover our iguanas from the farm. Yeah! <laughs> Big payday. Let's go see what we got, guys. What are these dogs doing out here, dude? These dogs need to watch their back, man. Not only for cars, but for them Cayman. Sheesh. All right, guys, the guys are already on the ranch right now. We gotta catch up with them to see what's going on. Izzy's got another one right there. Yeah. Right above, yeah. I see it. I see him, Izzy. Oh. Yeah. So this is uh, nesting going on right, right here, right there, right. Oh shoot, he's coming. Oh, oh, there's dogs. Oh, there, there. it we got us a tree hanger great shot so guys we're gonna obviously the reason why we're doing these guys are doing the work out here guys is because this area is being impacted so much by iguanas that they are digging holes on the side see there's a hole right here and they're actually causing a lot of erosion and damage
Nice! Right on the money though, dude. Checking down the numbers. I mean, you come out here to do maintenance, right? Yep. That's what it's all about. Oh. There it is. Another female. So this is for sure nesting territory. Yep, female, especially. That's wild. Defecating, urinating in their supply of water and food and potentially getting the animals sick, guys. It's a big thing. These iguanas are responsible for a lot, a lot of things, a lot of issues. There's actually one away down there. Got him. Nice. You guys can see a green iguana and a lesser Antillian iguana. You guys can see the two different species right there. All right. And then sometimes they hybrid where you'll get green with lesser Antillian patterns. Incredible, guys. Same species, but different subspecies. Remember, we're out here in Puerto Rico. Have you guys seen this? The crabs literally trying to eat the dead iguana. Look, it's pulling it in. What? Oh my gosh, the crabs literally pulling it in. That's crazy. We got three bucket bulls of iguanas at this job, which is about 23 iguanas. And as you can see, most of them are females, guys. They're nesting out here. Each female can lay 30 to 60 eggs in the breeding season. But stay tuned, guys, because the next job we go to is full of massive male iguanas taking over an almond tree. So we'll see you then. That is sweet. Two nights ago, was asking me. What these do you think are, about them? These are huge, bro. These things are huge, and they're shells. So you know, they used to be alive. Manny, once upon a time, we finally got crabs. 